Yes. Well, how do you deal with issues? Well, one thing can be with a diffuser. A diffuser. Of course it's a diffuser. Yeah. Diffuse the situation. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 89. Mind, body, and spirit. Living your best life. It's Hunt for Wellness. With John and Christy Hunt. Hello, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I am John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com, great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. Check it all out at waterdistillers.com. Okay, we've got to diffuse this situation. What's going on? What's the problem? Nothing. (laughs) <laughs> no, there's Am I confusing problem. something here? <laughs> oh, dear. You should talk a little bit. Bring this mic a little closer here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right. Um, Good. I just want to make sure that audience can hear exactly what you have yes. to say because it's important. This is a, we have to diffuse the mic situation. Right. Okay. Deal with issues. Yes. Well, how do you deal with issues? Well, one thing can be with a diffuser. A diffuser. Of course it's a diffuser. That's, you know, it's all about essential oils and wellness and Mm -hmm. everything natural. Why wouldn't we use a diffuser? Right. We would use a diffuser to diffuse the situation. Yes. But now, you know, not all diffusers are the same, correct? There's some that are, you know, heat-based, right? Yeah. There are some other ones, a variety of diffusers, but I just wanted to say... Some of the situations that we might want to diffuse are we're too tense. Yes. And we just want to relax. Or you have a little one that's too tense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and you want them to relax. Yes, you want them to chill out. <laughs> yes. Um, if we need a little more, bit more happiness in yes. our life. You know, when you smell something, sometimes it evokes a memory. That's right. Just like that and can just change your mood. That's right. So smelling things can make a huge difference. Yes. That's the whole like the, isn't that aromatherapy? Isn't that kind of the whole yeah. Uh, yeah. practice of smelling stuff and changing whatever How it is you, you want to change? Okay. Think about when you walk into a house and they've made cookies. Oh, yeah. What happens to your mood? Uh, It gets really good, (laughs) especially (laughs) when I get closer to those cookies. Right. Or you um, come home, either home or somewhere else, you walk into them and into this atmosphere and they they have, it smells really good. Like dinner. Yes. Like dinner is made Mm -hmm. and you're hungry. Well, and you can, you can, uh, you know, say my grandma's house smelled like this and you can almost come up with the smell sometimes like, well you know what i mean it's like you, know. you can like you can in your mind you can smell the smell i don't know how that ha- but that's a different show i know it? well your mom's house smelled like bacon yeah that was great <laughs> so i loved going there i, know. <laughs> I think they, they had bacon for every meal I, they must have they love awesome. bacon yes. yeah okay <laughs> so um but it can it can calm people down it can um diffuse like anger yeah you know Mm -hmm. help it can help diffuse anger right so um help let things go just um help create a good mood Mm -hmm. so um i love it we should lower your stress unwind a diffuser her going while we were talking Mm -hmm. and to give us just great insight well that's (laughs) another one like uh some of our kids like to use uh the lemon essential oil in a diffuser to help focus for studying. Right. So you can create a nice uh, environment for that. Right. And vanilla and frankincense is really good for focus too. And so we'll have some uh, of these recipes yep. on the website. Well, that would be great. Some essential oil recipes. Diffuser recipes. Yeah. It's yeah. a free cookbook. Well, it's not a whole cookbook, <laughs> but it is a page. Uh, if you go over to huntforwellness.com, episode 89 is this one. And mm-hmm. uh, on the show page there, there'll be a download link for a free uh, diffuser recipe sheet. Yes. And yes. It, it's been handed down for hundreds of generations from our grandmother's grandmother's grandmother. Well, not really. Well, not really. 
No. But uh, essential oils, though, have been around a long time. They have been they? around for thousands of years, yeah, so but not. they've just been recently um, rediscovered. Yes, yes. In the 20th century, mm -hmm. um, in France, actually, by a scientist that uh, he was doing some research on it. And like the significant thing was um, he there was a fire yeah. in the lab and he dipped his hand, which was burnt or burning, into a bottle of, he thought, water. But it was actually a bottle of, it was a jar full of lavender essential oil. Ooh. And... It healed, helped heal his hand so quickly. Wow. Um, it was like, wow, these oils are amazing. Yeah. So they're, That's a they, great do story. More, they do more than just smell good. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. And they can affect us in so many ways. They are plants. Right. And think about when you're going out, when you go out to nature and it smells so mm -hmm. good, like in the spring when the, mm. the lilacs and the apple trees are yes. blooming or you go into the woods and you're like, oh my goodness, this smells so good. Yes. And you kind of, your worries drop away. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. So do we need to... Um... Though, by the way, those are essential oils from the plants diffusing in the air. Yeah. And they're doing it to help themselves too, right? Well, and to help us. Yes. It's you know, God gave us the plants to yes. help us mm -hmm. with our emotions, to yes. help us calm down, to lower the stress, to improve our happiness. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says a merry heart is good like medicine. Mm -hmm. So if your mood is good, it is actually healing to your body. Yes. A happy mood is. We love that. I know. Who doesn't love a happy mood? Yeah. It's awesome. I know. It is awesome. So so we use a diffuser in the house to get that thing that happens outside. Yeah, naturally, right? Mm, right. So, um, and there are different kinds of diffusers, but what they do is they dispel the um, essential oils into the air, usually with water, not always with water, but um, long enough so that we can smell them and take them into our nose and then they go up actually into our brain mm. which is um the first cranial nerve is the one that that does the smelling goes into your brain the into the limbic system the emotional part mm -hmm. and it changes things right. for us right so i remember the one of the first times i really noticed a change um, based on smell was I was running out the door. I had lavender growing in my garden. I just grabbed a sprig, hopped in the car, just was smelling it as I was going along, and I could actually feel my body relaxing mm, that is from wonderful. the smell of lavender. That's and, just from the actual flower. That's not even from yeah. essential oil, right? Right. Well, there was essential oil in uh, the flower. Uh, see, That's yes. where it, yeah. it comes from. Mm -hmm. But it was like, wow, mm. this is amazing. Yes. How it's affecting my body mm -hmm. and I obviously my non-conscious mind knew I needed that right, <laughs> I needed right. to calm down a little bit I was a little stressed out right. so um, so I love that um, and our, our our sense of smell is one of our most powerful senses mm -hmm. and it is super important I mean when you lose that sense of smell Right. It's actually kind of dangerous. I mean, we had a house fire a, a few years ago. Yeah. And I detected it by my sense of smell. Right. Before the, the fire alarms went off. Right. And it was, I'm sitting at my computer typing away and going, what? What's that smell? Yeah. And I thought, I better get up and check that out. Wait, I'm not cooking. And I went in and then I saw a haze in the kitchen and then I was like oh no what is going on and uh, ran to the mudroom where the dryer had been running um, and it was smoking the dryer was smoking mm. at that point so it was my nose that detected it right also if you are um, going to eat some food and it smells bad that is protecting you from eating bad food. Your nose yes. is protecting yeah. you. Yeah, how often do we check the milk? Is it any good? Ugh, no. Not going to eat that. Yeah, or the, or know, meat, that meat or, or whatever, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it is a protective mechanism, and it is really important. And we can smell 
uh, the essential oils very easily and yeah. the diffuser diffuses those molecules into the air and things that we smell get into our brain and bloodstream in three seconds yeah it's fun whenever we meet someone new who hasn't really experienced essential oils you just open the little bottle and say just take a little smell of this say it's like peppermint and all of a sudden it just they can they can breathe better and they're going my gosh what is this yeah, it's so powerful. Really neat. Yeah, so a lot of times we like to do these in-person uh, demonstrations uh, because you can actually experience the aroma. Yeah, so when you get a chance to um, come to an event in person, it's really awesome because yeah. you can experience it for totally. yourself. Yeah. And so we do have those in-person events on essentialoils411.com yes. if you're in the Twin Cities area. Mm-hmm. But if you're not, you can also contact us and maybe uh, we know someone in your area yeah. that you can connect with. Or we send you a sample yes. and then do a, a virtual meeting and then you can have that response right on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, a lot of options. Yes. Yeah. In fact, if you go over to huntforwellness.com, uh, there is a blue connect button there. And it's just the purpose of that is just to... Um, Connect with us either by email, phone, whatever it is, and we will uh, get you additional information on anything we talk about or, you know, assess what your situation is and what might be good for you. Yes. All right. So now if you take an oil um, topically, it gets into your system in 26 seconds. Wow. But through smelling, it's three seconds. Yeah, isn't that something? And then if you ingest it... That's actually the longest way to do it. So we've something? got the Vitality oils. Yeah. Um, and so if you put it in a capsule and the capsule has to dissolve and go through the digestive system, get broke down in the gut, it's like 20 minutes. That's something. Yeah. That shows how powerful the nose is. It is. And some people think we're not really experiencing things through our nose or through our skin, but we are. Mm-hmm. You know? So, um, and the essential oils do cross the blood brain barrier. That is a system to keep out toxins from our body, mm. so, which is a very good system because we want to protect our brains. Right. Um, but essential oils can cross that, um, which is very cool. Um, so what questions do you have about us? about diffusing well or... i mean how do you know which one to diffuse right because and you can't actually diffuse all the essential oils right i mean there's hundreds of oils but not everyone is uh it's appropriate necessarily so i yeah. guess how how would you say um you would do it so what you want to do is kind of figure out what you want to achieve yes you know so if you want to achieve relaxation lavender is such a good oil mm -hmm. vanilla is such a good oil peace and calming so good for relaxation stress away mm -hmm. um, also there's a reference book um, reference guide for essential oils and there's the app that we like to use um, and we'll link that over at the show notes yes. huntforwellness.com yes. episode number 89 and we'll also we have that free the little cookbook. Yeah. One page, two page, whatever it is, uh, diffuser recipes. That's for mm -hmm. free for you over there mm -hmm. if you want to get that. And it goes through a lot of these, right? Yeah. So that's kind of how you would pick. Yeah. Um, but you also want to use really quality oils. Yes. You don't want to use oils that have herbicides or pesticides or are cut with... Perfume. Yeah. yeah I mean, or, there's or some that they might things. smell right, but they're not going to be effective at all. Right. And all so... Because all it is is a smell. Um, what we know is the seed to seal process that Young Living has, which means it's organically cultivated, mm -hmm. distilled at the right temperature for the right amount of time, tested by Young Living and by a third party and to make sure it has no herbicides, pesticides, heavy metals or anything in it yeah. uh, and has the right constituents in it. And if it doesn't pass those tests, it is not um, sold. Yep. So Young Living is the best oils that I know about. Mm -hmm. I've tried many others and they are not the same. Right. So um, it's important yeah. to use quality oils. Yeah. Do you want to talk about like uh, the different kinds of diffusers? I know Young Living has uh, several different kinds mm -hmm. uh, or at least models. They might all be the, you know, there's different ones. I know there's ones you don't want to use too probably, right? Yeah. 
So there's ultrasonic or humidifying di um, diffusers. Right. There's nebulizing diffusers. Which, that ultrasonic or humidifying uses water in mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. um, to diffuse. The nebulizing diffusers are just um, using air pressure to diffuse the, the oil directly, mm -hmm. so with no dilution at all. Um, there's evaporating diffusers, which is like fanning. It's mm -hmm. turning the oil into a ga gas by uh, blowing over mm -hmm. it. So we kind of use that kind in the car. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's heat or electric diffusers where they're heating the essential oil to turn it into a gas. But the problem with that one is that heating can change the chemical properties mm -hmm. um, of the oil. Yeah. And so you're... you're um, kind of wrecking the oil by heating it up directly like that right. so that is not the best and some of those are like the candle diffusers the electric diffusers or the lamp ring diffusers right which of course in the beginning we started to use those because we didn't know we didn't know we yeah, didn't know the right. difference by, and um, by the way if people go over to huntforwellness.com episode number 89 at least at the time of this recording uh there is a starter bundle you can get that comes with a free diffuser and yeah. those diffusers are about $75 in value. You get that free when you buy the uh, premium starter bundle. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, if, the, if you're watching this five years later, it may not be available. But, um, you know, this is the spring of 2023. Mm -hmm. And definitely um, right now you can uh, get a free diffuser. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And, and the oils that go with it. Yes. You know, so... So one thing that's unique about Young Living diffusers is that they are made with a different grade of plastic than most diffusers mm -hmm. that can stand up to um, authentic strong oils yeah. and um, particularly the citrus oils because they like to oils, particularly the citrus ones, like to eat up the plastic. Eey. And so many other diffusers like the ones that you can buy in the big box stores or online or you know, they just get wrecked. Yeah, they don't last in, long in because they disintegrate pretty much. Exactly, exactly. And Young Living diffusers are made to be strong and long lasting, mm -hmm. and they truly are. We've had our diffusers for many years. Oh, yeah. And um, they work really great. Most of them are the misting diffusers or the, you know, what we say ultrasonic or humidifying diffusers. Um, which have just this vibrating plate that mm -hmm. helps um, move the molecules into the air. And so um, the ones that they have that I love are the Aria, the Dew Drop, mm -hmm. the Desert Mist, the Owl Diffuser, Snowy the Owl. There's Sprout the Puppy Diffuser, super yeah. cute. Kids love them too, because they're cute. They are, and they can actually run them by yeah. just touching the, touching the feet. Touching the, the foot, yeah. yeah. Isn't that neat? It is neat. Yeah. Um, or you can, if they're too little or, or you don't want them to touch it, just put it a little bit higher so that they can't reach yeah. it. Um, there's also a rainstone diffuser, which is ultrasonic plus a negative ionizer. And again, these could have changed by the time you listen to it, right. but, um, they are really good. And then there's an atomizing diffuser, which is the one that just the nebulizing just mm -hmm. squirts out the essential oil, diffusing it with pressure and, um, there's this duet diffuser that Young Living currently has that does that. And that reaches a really large area. Um, and we have we have had mold in our house in the past mm -hmm. and um, used lemon and thieves, which so helps so much. I mean, you, you must deal with the source right. of the, the mold. Got to get rid of the wet. Yes. And so, out. I mean, we did that, but diffusing really helped clear the air like yeah. took my headache away that was so bad from this um mold mm -hmm. and even like if you have kind of a damp basement and so might be leaning towards mold down there it'd be great to be diffusing either every day or a couple times a week or at mm -hmm. least once a week in that basement and using one of these atomizing diffusers it's not really adding water yeah but it is um, spreading that essential oil that um, really attacks mold. And there is a book by Dr. Edward Close called Nature's Mold RX that you can find on Amazon and just dealing with that mm -hmm. because mold is toxic right. 
for you, really bad for the health. So you want to deal with that. And and um, on the, the quick way to do do that is lemon or thieves or both. Mm-hmm. Essential oils can really help immediately in a situation similar to that. So, so also when you use a diffuser, there's like no learning curve. You like right. pour water in if it's the water kind. Right, yeah. <laughs> and pretty simple. Put about, you know, eight to 10 drops of essential oil in there and put the lid on and turn mm-hmm. it on. Yeah, some of them come with a nice light show too. And most of them do. Yeah, which is kind of fun. But you can turn that off. It doesn't have to be on. But it's kind of fun Mm -hmm. to see the lights change. And some of them have like even the music built in. Or you can turn on your own music. Yeah. And create the ultimate experience. It it literally feels like a spa. Yeah. When you have your diffuser going, the lights are going. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the Aria. It's got some like spa music Mm -hmm. with it. It just literally feels like this is so uh, comforting, Mm -hmm. so relaxing. Yes. It feels so good. And so... um, so we love that. Great. Now, some people think, well, I've got candles that can create that beautiful atmosphere. Ugh, candles are toxic. Most of them are. They are. You're burning. Yes. The, uh, They're usually derived from petroleum ingredients, yeah. trash left over from the gas and oil industry. You. 40% of them, wicks are made from lead. Uh. Lead is very toxic. Um, so Dr. Sled, Andrew Sled, which is a primary care pediatrician, says burning a candle in your home is as harmful as smoking a cigarette. And that's something. Yeah. I know. And he specializes in environmental toxicity. So burning candles, yes, it's beautiful, but it's actually really bad for your health. Yeah. And wouldn't it be so much better to actually be supporting your health Yes. with the diffuser rather than bringing it down with right. a candle? Yep. So um, we've really we've switched over. I loved candles. Mm-hmm. We switched over to the diffusers instead of the candles. Totally. And um, we play we play them. Well, we use them all the time. Yes. Yeah. You, know, you get one for just about every room, right? Yeah. It's nice. Well, you need it. <laughs> or in the in back in the day when we only had one or two that could mysteriously disappear from one room and go into another <laughs> kid's room, and then all of a sudden, wait a minute. I thought I had the diffuser here, but right. So get a few. It's probably a good, a good. Yeah, thing, right? we have a diffuser in every bedroom, and then in our mm-hmm. um, living space, we have a couple diffusers. Kitchen, yeah, and in office, the office, yeah. Because so you know, you know, we have a lot of diffusers. Yeah, but it's so helpful, yeah. and it's just supporting our wellness. Mm-hmm. Um, we we stay well. Yeah, it's easy to use. Very easy to use. Yeah, great. Anything else on diffusing the situation before we wrap it up here? I would say use that diffuser every day. Make it part of your lifestyle. You know, if you've already got a diffuser, make sure that you're using it Mm -hmm. and just make it part of your routine. So have like a a jar of water or a pitcher of water next to your diffuser. So all you have to do is just pour it in and then keeping seconds. Yeah. Keeping some of those oils there and just turning it on. Yeah. Um, and just support your family's happiness, wellness, mm-hmm. peacefulness. It's so, so good. And there's a lot more to say and there's a lot more oils, yeah. you know, particularly that you could use if you want to um, help change an atmosphere. Um, and please reach out if yeah. you've got questions about yeah. that or want to know what oil should I use for this particularly? Yeah, yeah. there's an oil for that. Yeah, go over to yeah. huntforwellness.com. Uh, again, you can click the blue connect button right there on the homepage or head over to episode number 89 uh, and we have that diffuser recipe um, uh, sheet on there that you can download for free. Also, we'll have a link if it's still available to get that free diffuser when you buy one of the premium starter bundles. Great deal. I mean, yes. Uh, so, that is awesome. Well, you know what? 
This episode of Hunt for Wellness brought to you by waterdistillers.com. And by the way, you want to use distilled water in that diffuser. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you better get a water distiller too. So uh, just go over and check it out at waterdistillers.com and then come back for an aroma-filled episode next time on Hunt for Wellness. Thank you for listening to Hunt for Wellness. If you'd like your free 15-minute consultation, head over to huntforwellness.com and come back next time for Hunt for Wellness.